Alright guys, before I start this video, I want to thank Zudox Sidelin for recommending the idea. In October 2014, Studio Wildcard began work on Ark Survival Evolved, with the aim of making a dinosaur-focused survival game with a technology progression system. During development, the team actually read general audience books and online articles to help with their research of prehistoric species. Not only this, but the team also sought help from friends who studied and worked in the fields of biological sciences. The game was released to the public for early access in June 2015, and has been updated ever since, with the planned release date for June 2016, exactly one year after the early access release. However, due to Studio Wildcard facing a lawsuit, the game had to be delayed and could have been pulled from Steam altogether. Thankfully, this didn't happen, and the release date for Ark Survival Evolved is now planned for Winter 2016. Now, about that lawsuit I mentioned earlier. It all started in June 2013 when game director Jeremy Steiglitz worked at a company called Trendy Entertainment. Steiglitz was one of the founders of the company, but this would soon end after several employees complained of excessive overtime and sexism. After this was found out, Steiglitz was removed from development of one of the company's biggest games at the time, being Dungeon Defenders 2. Steiglitz then proceeded to ask the company to either release him of his contract or fire several employees. Trendy went with the contract option, and shortly after, Steiglitz was released from Trendy Entertainment. After being released, Steiglitz proceeded to join Studio Wildcard and start work on Ark Survival Evolved, but soon after, Trendy Entertainment would file a lawsuit stating that whilst Jeremy Steiglitz was still at their company, he was working on Ark Survival Evolved in secret, which violated his no-compete clause. In the end, Trendy stated that they want $600 million from Steiglitz, or they will be forced to threaten Ark Survival Evolved with removal from Steam. Soon after, it was decided that Trendy would settle for $40 million, and that was the last we heard of the whole situation. Being a game in early access, you would imagine that Ark Survival Evolved has many features planned for the future, and you will be absolutely correct. Many, many, many features are planned for the future of Ark, including an entire new tech tier called the Tech Tier. Other features include new armour, new weapons, new structures, new vehicles, new game mechanics, and the list goes on. Safe to say, the future is looking prosperous for Survival Evolved. If you are a PC game modder, then Ark is a great game for you, because the game actually gives players the developer toolkit, allowing players to easily make large and interesting mods. Some examples of the biggest mods ever made for the game include the custom map Valhalla, which is well known for being six times the size of a regular island. Another top mod would be the Advanced Architecture mod, which greatly expands the player's ability to build structures within the game. Another top mod would be the Ark Moon Survival mod, which totally changes the game to take place entirely on the moon. But the absolute biggest mod ever added to the game would have to be the map known as The Center, which has quite the story behind it. The developer of the map wanted to make a map that was much more epic and larger than a regular island, by entirely hand designing it, and it was going well, but one day he decided to book multiple months off work so that he could dedicate himself to the center. Basically, he risked his career for a chance to complete the map. Thankfully, the map was completed and Studio Wildcard was so impressed with it that they ended up hiring the map's developer as their newest team member. If that isn't considered dedication, then I don't know what is. The Ark. What is it? Why is it here? Where is here? Why are we here? What is our purpose? These are all questions that are asked time and time again, but none of them can be fully answered unless we delve deep into the game's lore with the few clues that we have found. So let's start with, what is the Ark? Well, one theory is that the Ark is some sort of sanctuary, and this would make sense considering that it is called the Ark. But then there is the question of, why are there dinosaurs on the Ark? Where did the dinosaurs come from, and why are we forced to survive in a Mesozoic environment, when it would make much more sense to survive in a more modern era? Well, this is related to the theory that what if everything about the Ark is one big experiment, and not some sort of sanctuary? 
A clue of this is that the implant in our arms states that humans' worth is to be determined. Now, why the dinosaurs, you may ask? Well, the most likely theory is that the Mesozoic Era is the hardest era to live in, and would heavily encourage us to evolve to make survival easier, which leads into our next question. How is it that we can evolve so quickly on the Ark, when not only did we start out with nothing, but we also started out with no knowledge of how to survive or progress, yet we do it so easily and quickly? The theory that most people believe is that the implants in our arms aid us in evolution, allowing us to survive and evolve at a quick rate, which is strange because you have to wonder, why? Is it some superior species testing us to see how fast we can evolve? Or is it some sort of preparation for something? But I could go on like this for a long while, and even then it would all just be theory, and nothing would actually be confirmed fact. So until enough has been revealed, we may never know what the true purpose of the Ark actually is. That's it for this list guys, if you have any recommendations for a future video, then let me hear them. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!